recess is making a comeback. After many U.S. schools had cut back or eliminated recess due to lack of space or time in the school day, the turnaround is part of an effort to encourage more physical fitness. Joining us to discuss is WSJ health reporter Sumathi Reddy. Sumathi, great to see you. It seems common sense that resource that recess rather is good for children. So why had schools been getting rid of it? I think a lot of it was just academic instructional time. You know, there's only so many hours in the school day, so. A lot of schools were either reducing it. I think more for the elementary schools is more reducing it. Like you'd have recesses that were only 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And of course, the time it takes to get kids out and in, that's like, you know, six minutes of running around. Endless. All right. So what's behind this resurgence? This is coming from where? So the CDC, actually, the Centers for the Federal Government, um, they got together with a group of uh, physical education teachers, came out with 19 strategies to help schools sort of have a more, a better recess. Have, right. Like this, here's how you do recess. So their focus is increasing physical activity. You know, so kids. they decided that, you know what, recess is part of what makes healthy kids. Yes, you only and have gym once a week, most schools, right. so like in order to get kids moving more, you know, recess is a good opportunity for that. And no one can disagree with that. What do the studies tell us are the benefits of recess? So there's countless benefits, um, everything from you know, physical activity to improving concentration and focus in the classroom, less disciplinary problems in the classroom, um, even there's some studies showing, suggesting that memories improved, mm -hmm. and of course the social and emotional benefits as well. Absolutely. Now, as you said, the CDC partnered with um, Shape America to release these 19 guidelines for recess. Mm -hmm. I mean, who knew recess was so complicated? Yeah, but what are some of the guidelines that they suggested? Sure. So these are strategies. Strategies, okay. rather. Okay. One is don't um, punish or discipline kids. I love that one. I told that one to recess. my son, yes. and he said, please uh -huh. tell my school that, because they do use recess as a punishment That's tool. a very common, yeah. yeah. So that's one suggestion. Um, the other ones include, like, having activity zones mm -hmm. to get kids moving more. So, like, you know, one area of the blacktop is for Foursquare, another one's for soccer, another one's for aerobics. Right. And um, having a weather plan in case you can't go outside. Indoor and outdoor spaces, indoor, right. intermittent weather, um, having recess before lunch, because then they're more likely to eat healthy foods Ooh. during lunch. Very good. Suge these are all great suggestions. Now, I also thought it was interesting that who knew recess could be a bit controversial. And it mm. turns out when it comes to structured recess, there is a camp that is for structured recess and mm. a camp that is ardently against it. Well, no one likes to use the word structure anymore because it's so controversial. So they call it like organized recess. Okay. When you have the zones, organized. kids still have a choice, they say, but there's zones of activity. Um, and there aren't people, recess coaches kind of telling them where to go? Yeah, so there usually something. are parents or teachers or paraprofessionals that are trained in sort of helping kids play. Right. And okay. then, But then other developmental specialists say, hey, recess is a time for kids to just use their imagination and free play. And that's the whole point. Yes. Yeah, so there's right? a lot of people who, act, who also advocate free play. There's so much structure in children's lives, both inside and out of school. This is the 20 minutes they get to do whatever they want, and this is important for them. developmentally. It's very important that they need that time to just have a blank. And sort of figure out how to slate. play with each other, and yes, yeah, yes. exactly. But yet, people who have who are sort of proponents of this more structured—I guess we can't say structured, but regulated recess—say that there are fewer in instances of bullying. Correct? Yeah. So they they have noticed. There's one school I talked to in North Carolina that just started this this year, and she said the write-ups for disciplinary actions during recess have gone down dramatically right. since they have this new sort of zone structure. That's good. And for any school that's looking to sort of update their recess time. There's yeah. even a nonprofit that will help them do that, correct? Yeah, yeah. So Playworks is now in over 3,000 schools. They actually send recess coaches to schools <laughs> and teach kids games to play and how to play them. And these are the ground rules to reduce conflict. And Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, who can argue with, with recess? <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.